I'm Sophia Lemon, and I photograph ridiculously happy people. And in this video, I am going to show you how to design cards in your online photo gallery. Now, you might be inviting people to your wedding or sending some holiday wishes, or you just want to thank your family and friends and bring them a little bit of a smile. Um, cards are a great way to do this, and we're gonna dive right into it right now. All right, so you're gonna have a link in your email. And if you can't find the link to your gallery in your email, you can go to galleries.sophialemon.com or you can find the link from the footer of my website. And we're gonna choose a gallery here. I'm gonna go with the Armstrong Family Gallery. Now, when you first come to your gallery, you're gonna be asked to put in your name and your email address. Your first name is just fine, and you're going to want to log in with your own email address. This is really important because this is how you save your designs for later so that you can work on them later so that you can access them later. All of your shipping information is gonna be sent to this email address. If you forgot your password, it's gonna be sent to this email address. So it's really important that you use your own email address. If you don't want to type in your email address, you can use Facebook or Google to sign into your account. And we're going to go view the Armstrong Family Gallery. All right, so we're gonna go to shop. And remember, I am showing you these tutorials from my computer. Again, you can create artwork. You can do all of this stuff from your phone or from your tablet. But I highly re recommend a computer because it's easier. So if you are designing from your phone and you're having some trouble, try hopping on a computer and designing that way. So there are two options for greeting cards in your shop. There are foil greeting cards right he here and greeting cards right here. The only difference between the two is that foil greeting cards add a little bit of shiny foil to the text on your greeting card. There are fewer options for foil greeting cards and I'll show a tutorial on that a little bit later. It's not much different from designing regular greeting cards. So you can go ahead and hop into foil greeting cards and test that out. But we're gonna use the greeting cards here. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're going to choose flat or folded. So flat card is like your postcard. It is flat, it has photos and text on one side and you can write your message on the other side of the card or you can use your traditional folded card. So flat cards are great for people who want to stick their cards to their fridge, for example. Photo cards can stand up on their own. So you just choose between flat or folded. We're gonna go with folded. And you're gonna choose between your, your five by seven or your five by five. And next, we're going to choose our language. There's a number of options here. But since I only speak one language fluently, we are going to choose English today. And then we're going to choose the occasion. So you have holidays, New Year's, thank you, save the dates, graduation, newborns, and blank. Um, so if you can't find the option that works best for you, you can choose blank. Um, some of these design options, which you'll see in the next row here, um, allow you to add some text. You can choose the text that goes into these card designs. But today we are going to start with the holiday option because they're a lot of fun. Okay, so let's have a look in this top view right here. Let's choose the joy option. Okay, so here is the beginnings of your holiday card. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down to the bottom of the page and we're gonna find the family photo that we want to use for the Armstrong family holiday card. So, under Armstrong family here, or your family or your wedding or whatever it may be, you're gonna see every photo in your gallery. 
You can also choose from the different scenes in your gallery, which will automatically jump and show you just the photos in that scene to make it a lot quicker to get around your photos. And if you've been saving your favorites, they will appear in your favorites. Um, if you are having trouble finding the photo that you want, I recommend going back to your gallery and marking some favorites there. So let's start with the whole family. And I have an idea of what photo I want to use. It's everyone in front of Chantry Island uh, Bird Sanctuary. So as you can see, the photo is not cropped particularly well. So what we're going to do is we're gonna hover over top of it. We're gonna click this little box in the top left corner. And then we can move the photo. We can resize the photo. And we can make sure that it is positioned perfectly for our card. Next, there is a little bit of text that we can add here. As you can see, we have joy going down the right-hand side and love the arm straw. Excellent. Now we can also change the background color of our card design. And I think red would be very festive. You can see how the text has automatically been changed to white, so that is readable, but we will need to change the text that we have added to white so that it can be read on this card. And lastly, you can add more photos to a selection of designs. You will see those options right here, right underneath the card designs that you've chosen from. So if we wanted to, we could have three photos shown on this card. And I want this to be the feature photo, so I'm just gonna click and drag it. And then I can add more photos to the card. I'll just click and drag. And click and drag. And again, if the photo does not fit perfectly, we can click at the top right corner and adjust it. Zoom in, change the size, and click OK when we're done. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to add this card to our cart when you are ready to check out. And you can save it for later if you want to work on this card later on. And remember, it is so important that you log in with your own email address and set a password that you can remember so that you can access your saved designs later. If you cannot remember your password for whatever reason, you can use the forgot password option. And that is how you design a card in your online gallery. If you have any questions about designing cards or designing any other printed photo products, just let me know. I'm Sophia Lemon and I photograph ridiculously happy people. <laughs>